Yeah, what's up you guys? This is Guy's Son, and we're coming back and I want to show you guys my epic, awesome, incredible, spectacular Town Hall 8 that I did a little while ago. If you remember, I did my base build for this, and since then it's been holding out pretty well. Uh, you guys, I have a base competition going on, but in case you guys don't care for those bases, you can always use mine because I feel this is a really good base, and let me prove it to you. I have a defense log here. Now I've gotten uh, 16, was it 16 win streak with this base design. If you could check it out, I even had uh, this guy pushing really hard right here, as well as a, a full team of a queen and a king. And I just, I really like this, how it's been holding up. So since I've changed it from uh, my farming base design from right here, I put my town hall back inside to the middle and it's been winning pretty well for me. I think the only time I lost was here, and it was because it was a Town Hall 9 and he had, um, you know, almost his level 10 heroes. So let me go ahead and show you this replay. And uh, I think that's what I'll do for this video. I'll show you a bunch of replays. Okay, so you know, this is a typical Barch technique where uh, they use the barbarians and the archers to get the uh, resources that you have on the sides And I'm not sure if he was going for loot or what because I didn't have a lot of loot at the time So I figure he must have been going for trophies And the barbs over there are just taking a uh, beating <laughs> There goes his heroes. He got his heroes coming in. And they're trying to work their way down to get to the clan castle. Now, my only gripe with this is like, if you're fighting people that are a town hall level higher than you, then of course they're gonna have the advantage. But I feel if you're town hall eight, then you should have somewhat of an even playing field. People your level will, you know, they should have some sort of difficulty with these bases. And so he's at 44% and he's working his way in there. And there goes my traps. Oh. Yeah, that Archer Queen is really strong. Man. Okay, so he just barely got this. He got the 50% and that was it. Time's up. All right, so let's actually get to the next one. This is a Barch attack. And uh, actually, no, this is a Bam attack. And the guy has uh, barbs, archers, and minions. Let's see where he brings them all. He's, all, he's only got 12 minions, but you know, that's, uh, that's, that's how you Bam. Uh, Minions are good to get away from the cannon fire. And so you can tell he's actually going for my resources. But I've been really crafty and all my resources are actually in the storages. They're not in the pumps. So he's going to have a hard time trying to get in. <laughs> he only needs 5% left too. But he's out. And I got my clan castle troop coming in. Dang, look how close this was. Oh my god, he only needs 1%. Whoa! Stop him! Don't let him get it! <laughs> so I got I got really lucky that, with this one. Because he was going for blood. But we got him, you guys. That was, that's been my closest one. So yeah. Dang. Alright, you guys. So that is my Town Hall 8 replay log. Now again, this is how I'm doing so far at my league, at my level. And uh, eventually I will start pushing to champions uh, with my town all eight. So, you know, I'm really excited for that and see how it goes. Uh, but again, you guys, I got the uh, base competition going on. And even though uh, I don't feel there's like the perfect base design for farming or trophy pushing, we can find one that's good enough for a lot of people to use. So make sure you guys stay tuned, subscribed, and I will see you guys next time. Godson out.